What's up everybody, Wyatt Davis here, back with another review. So I'm gonna be showing you guys the Air Jordan 2, a mom and year. Now before I get into the video, I just wanna say thank you guys for all the support. Keep on liking, keep on subscribing, and it really motivates me to keep going. I see you guys liking my content. Also, let's know I'm in the right direction to show you guys what you wanna see. If you're new to the channel, I just wanna say thank you and welcome. I drop a lot of dope content here, so consider subscribing. Also, there's a 4K video playing in the background of me, and you guys when news videos coming ahead of time, if you follow me on Instagram at white davis but let's get right into it guys these did come out on june 1st officially from the website um a few days earlier than that you know you could go into the store sign up for a raffle and they gave you a link between i think it was the 27th between the 24th and the 27th and uh, you had the option to pick these up now the retail on these was 225 but with the shipping it came to 250 current resale is going for about 400 bucks but um as you guys see here we get this really nice box right here it comes in that original air jordan 2 box um, fun fact of the day, the Air Jordan 2 has to be like one of my favorite Jordan silhouettes. Reason being because, you know, growing up in the 90s, um, they didn't really drop a lot of Air Jordan 2s. And um, 2022 has just been like the year of the two so far. We're getting a lot of collab 2s. And uh, you also seen this box on the Off-White 2s. But I just really love the way the 2 looks. And uh, it's not that solid after at the moment. So, you know, prices and resale on the 2s are not that bad. And definitely grails, in my opinion. So, I just really love it. But um, at the top here, it says Amami Air. Then we get the regular Air Jordan logo right there with the balls and the wings around it. In black and white. Okay, um, I did go to size 9.5 on these. All right, once again, resale is going for about 400 bucks right now. I'm on the back here. It does have the Mama Year stamp, but other than that, it's just a really nice black and white box, as you guys can see right here. Okay, now open up the top of the box here, and then we get this iconic picture of Jordan doing a windmill right there, and that comes from the 1987 dunk contest, which he actually won. All right, and he has the Air Jordan 2s on right there. So just like memories like this and just watching him, you know, do things like this in the 2s just made me a big fan of the 2s. And plus, they wasn't so easy to get, you know, growing up. Like I said earlier, you know, always made it one of those shoes that was like one of my favorite, you know, silhouettes that they ever made. And then it says uh, a mommy ear down there in white. So we get like a half black and white picture and then it goes to color toward the top. And also the socks. This is why I also wear like high tube socks. I love the way Jordan looked in his socks. Um, <laughs> it might sound funny, but you know, I just love that thick, you know, mid sock cut that he had. And that's why I always like to wear socks like that. Um, especially with my short shorts, like he used to wear back in the day. But, um, anyway, let's get right into it guys. Um, we get this Amami Air paper on the box here. Also I already took off the glove because I was just looking at these in amazement. So let me throw these back on for you guys to see how it originally comes actually really really quick all right so this is how it originally comes just like this all right and see through as you guys can see but let me take that back out sorry about that guys now um we do get that same thing on the paper here all right take out these really really nice shoes oh man and on the inside we actually do get an extra piece of paper so if you guys are buying this from the resale market you know what i mean you might want to make sure you get that extra piece of paper we also get the green and white sticker on the inside as well Okay, pretty nice. And the inside is just black. Now, um, these shoes are really fire. I love the whole idea behind these with the cracked leather and things like that. Um, you know, James Whitner and his team really did their thing with these. I think he loves these type of color on shoes too, because he also did like the same type of colorway on the threes that I showed you guys a little bit earlier last year. But um, let's get right into it, guys. On the bottom here, we got like this sail white, black, and maroon towards the back of the shoe there. And also it says a 9.5 down there in the Nike. All right, so that's pretty dope. Now coming towards the outside of the shoe here on the outsole snake skin right there in black and like a faded grayish color going towards the front, going all the way around the shoe. So that's pretty nice. I love that touch on the shoe. Moving up a little bit higher than that, we get like this cracked white leather all the way around the shoe here. So I'm sure you guys are outside first, pretty fire. And then we also get the hits of the maroon, okay around the outsides pretty dope also get those holes going all the way around the shoe right there all right now moving towards the front of the toe box here we get that leather that cracked leather on the front of the toe box as well now these will crease up so make sure you guys with some wearable shoe trees in your shoes in my opinion but i just love this whole you know vintage look of these now moving to the mud guard here we can get that snake skin on the mud guard as well pretty fire with a little bit of stitching over top of that in white. 
All right, now coming towards the inside of the shoe here, we get that same cracked leather. All right, then we get that maroon on the top right there. And then we get the holes coming back around to the inside, pretty fire. What do you guys think about that crack material? You guys feeling it or nah? I really like it a lot. Honestly, it gives it that vintage look. I really dig that. All right, now um, coming towards the laces here, we do get three pair of laces on these. They come in maroon, a cream color, and a standard black. Now um, on the tips of the laces, it does say work harder on all of the pairs. So that's pretty nice. If you guys watched the old interview, you know, somebody from his team had that on their computer and it said work harder. So you know what I mean? He wanted to add that onto the laces, which is pretty nice. I really like that touch. You know what I'm saying? So he kept that touch on the Air Jordan 2s as well. All right, now coming from the bottom of the tongue here, we get that cracked leather on the bottom of the tongue. And then right before we get to the top of the tongue, we get some more of that snake skin right here in the middle before we get to the top of the tongue. All right, so that's pretty nice. At the top of the tongue, we get that cracked white leather. And then in the middle, we get the Air Jordan right there with the basketball, like a soft black leather. Okay, pretty nice. And at the top of the tongue here is outlined in black. All right, now coming towards the inside of the shoe here, it's in a black quilt. So these are pretty comfortable on feet. All right, we do get some, uh, car we do get some cardboard inserts on these and on the inside of the cardboard insert, it does say die cut sock liner, if you guys can see that in there. So, you know, make sure you guys are checking these points out when you guys are getting these from the aftermarket. Um, we also get the sizing on the inside right there, but, um, on, the ins but on the insole, uh, it's actually in maroon. And it says Airness by Amami Air for Air Jordan. And then we get the sizing sticker on that as well. Pretty fire right there. All right. Now, now showing you guys the back of the shoes here. There's Meniere on it. Pretty dope and white. And the background is in red. All right. Then we get like this red plastic right there. And then it goes down to like that clear translucent plastic over the crack leather, which also goes towards the outsides and the insides of the shoe midway. Um, also, we get this hang tag here, which is pretty flexible, but it's pretty nice. It's like a keychain. It says a mommy ear on it in black and like maroon. Then at the bottom, we get the Air Jordan with a logo on there. So that's a pretty nice touch that they added with the shoe as well. Now, um, I'm gonna show you guys my foot is in a toe box right now. Okay guys, so this is what they look like on feet. Pretty clean in my opinion. Now I'm a true size nine, I normally get nine and a half in all my shoes, except for four fifties and three fifties. I believe you need to go a full size up on those. But um, I did go with a size nine dot five on these and I feel like they fit amazing. Now you can go true to size, but I do like having a little bit of space in my shoes. I'm gonna show you guys my foot is in the toe box here. So I'm wiggling around, but if you guys cannot tell, my big toe is right here. Okay, that's the edge of my big toe. And I have a little bit of space in there, as you guys can see. So true to size, you can go to on these, but I feel like half a size up is the way to go. In my opinion, I do like to have a little bit of space. And if you like the way your shoes untied, like myself, um, your shoe, your foot will not slip out the back. As you guys can see, it's not coming out at all. So I feel like um, half a size up is the way to go. But, you know, if you like a snug fit, go true to size. But um, even with the shoes being unlaced, I don't feel any tightness here at all. So, you know, half a size up would be the way to go, in my opinion. But um, showing you guys a toe box once again, this is my big toe. And uh, I do have a little bit of space in there, as you guys can see. Let me move the camera a little bit closer so you guys can actually see what I'm talking about. So, big toe right here. Okay. So, as you guys see, just a little bit of space in there. All right. Now, around the sides, I do have a lot of space there. But, um, you know, true to size. So, you know, if you like to have a little bit of space in your shoes go half a size up you know what i mean you don't want them to be just fitting especially if you're paying a big dollar amount on these but you know if you like a snug fit and uh you know a true to size fit then go true to size these do run true to size but uh i also don't think these will crease up too much because of the already cracked leather i don't know though because you know what i mean this is my first pair of like crack leather shoes but as you guys can see right there matter of fact these are going to be creasing up a little bit but um, you might want to wear some wearable shoe trees in these too, but you know, it is what it is. But, uh, I'm gonna show you guys what these look like with some different pants options right now. Okay guys. So I hope you guys like this video. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, show your boy some love and stay tuned.